favourites video. I told you that Glam Magazine um, on the 4th of March is going to be releasing their 10th birthday edition of the magazine and with it there's going to be a choice of 10 free miniature clinic products. Well on the day that it was released, so that was on Thursday and it's um, Saturday on a film this day but I don't think it will go up tonight because it's pretty late, it's dark outside um, and I do have a lamp on so the lighting is a bit different and, and I went to seven different places. I managed to get the ones that I wanted a lot and there was one more that I wanted to get, I didn't manage to get that but it's not that bad. So what I thought I'd do is I'll show you the four products that I managed to get and then if you want reviews on any of them then I can probably do that, well I'd really like to do that. So the first one I got was the Clinique Super Balm Moisturising Gloss and this is in the colour 10 Grapefruit. Um, it's just like that. I already had um, the other one which is a purpley one called Current and yeah I had that on. I've actually got that on one on my lips right now and I got that free in Elle magazine a few months ago and I really loved it and then when I saw in the little piece of cardboard that I was going to be giving away um, this colour I was like that is one of the products I just really want to get. So I got that. The next product I got about is a product that I think that I have heard about so much on YouTube for years probably. I think it's a really a big cult product as far as I've heard and that is Clinique's Dramatically Different Moisturiser. Um, it's just like that. Um, I have tried this out a little bit already but I've only tried it out maybe twice so I can't really um, tell much. I can't, whoops, <laughs> I can't really, whoops just dropped the lid. Um, I can't really say much about it yet but that one um, from what I can tell so far is pretty good um, but there is some down so I just like there is a any product. I got the 7 day scrub off um, exfoliator for your face. I've tried this out too but only like once. I can't really say much about it yet but um, it should be good. I've been looking for a little face exfoliator for a little while anyway. And the last thing that I got was the take the day off um, makeup eye remover. I have tried this out about ages ago and that was when I kind of wasn't totally into it, so I don't really think I took much notice. I didn't really properly look at it from maybe a beauty point of view, like, oh, does it take it off well? What's it like? What does it smell like? What's the tech? Like, you know, all of that stuff. Um, I think I just literally took my makeup off. But yeah, so these are the four products that I got from Clinique. Um, and yeah, I did want to get the eye cream, but I didn't manage to get that. These were the four product, the ten products that they was going to be giving away. Um, just like them there. I come across like every product in the shop, um, apart from the little lip gloss there and the eye cream. But yeah, my friend though, um, we went to Tesco's today and she got the Moisture Surge Extended First Relief, the pink moisturiser. And we've said that if we're going to have a sleepover um, before I do like most of these reviews, that um, she's going to let me try out a bit of the pink moisturiser on my face when it, like we take our makeup off that night. And she's going to try about this one. So yeah, that you'll get like maybe her opinion from that and I'll also get to try out another product that I didn't manage to pick up. So yeah, tell me if you like reviews on them. I think that I probably will do them anyway because I think they're pretty good. They're, they're all just free. So yeah, so now I'm just left with like four copies of Glover Magazine. Um, so I'm just going to give them away to like my friends. Um, another product that I might do a review on, all of these obviously I've bought myself, um, is this one. It's the Sanctuary, uh, okay, I don't really know what the, mark, the name is, but it's Spa Perfect Cleanse. Spa Perfect Skin Deep Cleanse Facial 5 Minute Thermal Detox Mask Warming Charcoal Treatment for Perfectly Clean and Purified Skin. So it's a little sachet moist, um, no, moisturiser face um, mask and my Lush one, um, I bought two of my Lush one but the annoying thing with that is because is they, they're all natural ingredients they actually have sell by dates and so my one, it didn't use it all up in time but it's run out of date and I can't really use it now and I'm, I'm going to buy it back I'm sure but just because I hadn't managed to get, there was not, there's not a Lush at my closest shopping centre but it is um, pretty near to me but yeah so whereas they, I've got a boot so I just thought yeah I'll get that for now. I might actually try that out maybe tonight or tomorrow night so yeah tell me if you'd like reviews on them. Um, the next thing is I 
thought I'd just do a little bit of a vlog about what I've been doing recently. Yesterday I had um, two vouchers left over for my birthday last summer. They've both gone out of date because for beauty salons they usually last six months. My birthday is 29th of July so they run out on 29th of January. But the, the two beauty places, I rang them up and they're really nice and they're like, oh we don't mind, they've run out of date. It's okay, we'll still let you do something anyway. So I made an appointment in one, I had my eyelashes permed. And eyelash perms is when they are basically permanently curled as if you've just put them in the eyelash curler so that sounded really exciting you can have them tinted which makes them look really black or you can have them brown anything you want but my eyelashes are quite black anyway so I didn't really need that but I thought perming would be really good I did have them permed this is so bright this light so you probably won't be able to see it but it basically has made them so nice and curled like, I don't know if you can see but um from the side or anything um they look like um, just how fake ones are just really nicely curled like you know it's just so good that I thought I've read there's gonna last me about three to six weeks some but the lady said they could last a few months so I think it's basically just to get a new set of eyelashes because you know eyelashes fall out one by one you get a new one and then eventually they're um all the curled ones are gone so it's gonna look a bit weird when there's just a few left um, maybe they'll have dropped by then but yeah this I didn't even curl my eyelashes today, I just literally put mascara on and when I take them off, using my Clinique um, eye makeup remover tonight um, or wash my face in the shower, as soon as I get out this is still going to be like this it's like, you've probably mainly all heard of hair perms where you can have your hair permanently curly and it just stays like it well this is basically the same thing for your eyelashes so if you'd like a video on that I might be doing a video um, comment below if you'd like one, kind of explain the procedure and. Um, everything like that. I'm not really too sure because obviously I didn't see what she was doing because you get your eyes shut but um, I can talk through it a little bit and um, just I might make a video on that anyway maybe but just tell me below. I forgot to say it like really opens up your eyes and uh, it makes you look permanently awake which is good because I don't sleep for that long so yeah it just makes you look really like opens your eyes up and like makes them awake and I think it just adds a bit of like it makes it look a little bit more glamorous just on a daily basis it's just your eyelashes but just like coat mascara and uh, they all open up as for what I've been doing recently I went round my friend's house today and um, I'm starting a beauty course in April and I've got a job in a hair salon as I talked about in one of my it was my like big career -y vlog beauty college thing and um, I've been learning a few things in there I'm not learning to become a hairdresser but I'm basically just a salon girl um, doing a bit of like cleaning after like cleaning up the stations after a customer's been in doing like seven drinks and um, getting gowns and stuff but they've also this week taught me a hair massage I can do head massage and how to rough dry and straighten someone's hair properly and professionally so I when I got around there Jess had washed her hair but her hair was still a bit damp and I was like oh my god can I practice practice um, drying and straightening your hair so I did and it was so much fun really liked it just doing it with my little brush and then straightening it and that was really fun and then she was like oh, I want to do yours so my hair is straight today if you think um, and Je Jess did that, so yeah, straight because of her. She did it really nicely. Um, and yeah, and then I'd just painted my nails around there, and then we was like, oh, we want to paint each other's nails. Hers was a bit chipped. Mine was like, oh, well, you can just do mine, I don't really care. So this is OPI's Do You Lila Kit. It's a really nice colour. It's much darker than, um, I don't know if it's on my videos, or at least definitely on my old channel, Palmer Violet 19. I always used to talk about my favourite nail varnish ever is Topshop's Palmer Violet nail varnish. It is a pale violet colour. This is a bit darker, um, but yeah, I really, really like it. Um, I think OPI okay, might have another purple colour called like Rumples of Wigan. I'm not sure. That could have been, was that from Shrek? I'm not sure. But yeah, this is, I think, their permanent one. Just do you like it? And I... It's kind of, you know, obviously how it's like, do you like it? Well, it's I love it more like. So, yeah, I really love this. My ring's from Forever 21. My top is from Topshop. My eyes today, just I've got Benefits um, Creases Cream Shadow in Birthday Suit all over the lid. Then I've got a bit of all the glitters here. A bit of satin type here, just blended. And a bit of my bourgeois eyeliner. But I really need to get a new one then. My one's running out. My Clinique lip gloss in current and yeah someone um 
put, I think, I can't remember who it was, I'll insert the name here somewhere, um, in my video the other day they said, oh my god, do you know that the Bobby Brown concealer duo, which has the concealer on the top and the powder in the bottom, is uh, Bobby Brown's loose powder? And I was like, yeah, I knew it was her loose powder. And she said she used it that day as an all over face setting powder, and had I tried it and like, did I know? And I was like, oh my god. I had never added that up, that that was Bobbi Brown's loose powder, but I always thought about using it on my eyes, I'd never thought about using it all over my face, and I've been doing that for the past maybe two, possibly three days, and I really, really like doing it. I hadn't tried loose powder before, I'd only ever tried like pressed powder, um, and not by any good brand, just by like Collection 2000, and um, yeah, and it was actually really nice, um, so yeah, I keep doing that, but I can't because obviously it's just like a little bit in there, but maybe I'll look into buying the big one, or at least a loose powder of some form, even if it's not as inexpensive for her brand as Bobby Brown. So yeah, thank you, I'll put your name in the annotation here, thank you for telling me that, because that's a really good, really good trick. Um, tomorrow, hopefully, I'm going shopping. I watched um, a video by a girl with a channel name called Cloudy Lemonade, um, I uh, will put her link in the down bar if you want. Um, she said she'd been watching my videos for ages and she did this haul a little while ago and it was have a number seven lipstick in it in the colour piece and um, I tried it on in the shops yesterday and I really like that. I really want to buy it. It's about four or five pounds. Um, really want to get that. It looks so nice so I really recommend that colour even though I don't have it yet I want to get it. Um, yesterday I finally tried, god this is like such a random vlog, yesterday I finally tried the hazelnut hot chocolate in Starbucks, now I think it's great if you love chocolate, for me it was too chocolatey and too sweet, it was just so sickly but I really, I did like it but I think I'll just stick to my normal tea, boring as it is, um, yeah but I'd want to try that out for ages and then I finally did. I'm going to do a collective haul, I've got a couple of items I can think to show you, like one, two, three, four, four things I can think of but I want to just wait to kind of collect up a little few more things first, um, hopefully I'll have a lipstick to show you soon if I can get that one, um, there's a dress in New Look that I love, some earrings, I have a lot of things in my little wish list at the moment, um, beauty and and clothes. Oh, um, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of it, but have any of you heard of a Brazilian blow dry? Brazilian blow dry um, is this treatment you can have on your hair in hair salons and it makes your hair straight even if your hair is as frizzy as mine. I know you've, it looks straight now, but you have seen my hair when it's been all frizzy and everything. Um, and they are usually so expensive, but because I've got a job in a hair salon, one of the girls have just learnt it and she needs someone to practice it on and she was like, oh, do you want to do it me? And I was like, yeah, you can. That would be so great. Um, and I'm getting that done on Monday at half one and I'm so excited about that. It's totally going to ease out any of the frizz in it and um, when I wash my hair, if I just leave it to dry, hopefully it will dry no fr with no frizziness and it will just be so great. And when it rains, it won't go frizzy. I'm just hoping it will be good and it lasts for about three months. Um, it does take quite a while to do, so I'm going to be in there practically for a few hours but no hopefully it'll be able to be but straight like this all the time because I don't know if you can see it all my hair is quite long I should really probably can you see it all it's like this is that I don't know if it's getting my whole lot of hair in but anyway that, that's how long my whole hair is so I should really probably do something to my hair soon I feel like I feel like I need some sort of new hairstyle but just like this one I guess <laughs> um but no maybe I did think about putting a fringe in or something but don't know um yeah so I'm getting that done on Monday and I mean my mum my mum used to be a hairdresser so she's done a little straightening treatments on me before um in the kitchen someone commented the other day saying how I dyed my hair it looks different and I think it's honestly if I straighten my hair it just looks different because it changes the texture. My mum's done all little straight lines in the kitchen before and then it's kind of when they grow out, um, this bit looks black, that bit looks brown, <laughs> as if my hair's naturally black and I dye it brown as if it's grown out like with roots of um, like hair colour, but it's actually just, it's not, my hair's never been coloured. The reason sometimes this looks black and it looks brown is because that's still glossy so the light hits that a certain way, this bit here is all frizzy so the light hits that a different way. Yeah and oh my god I am so excited. Taylor Swift is like my favourite person um, and I'm going to see her at the end of 
this month. I'm so excited. So I keep listening to her songs loads. Um, it's probably the end of my vlog. Hope you're having a great weekend. I'll see you in my next video. I'm talking so fast. In my next video. Bye.